What's up guys, Rory here from the Pixel Press, bringing you another Dolphin video comparison, and this week we are looking at The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. Firstly, I'd just like to apologise for the delay in this video, I know you guys have been waiting a while for this, but as you can probably imagine, been super busy over the Christmas period. Uh, hopefully you guys, if you do celebrate Christmas, had a great time and a happy new year to you. Okay, now moving on. If you're watching this, you probably know that Skyward Sword is one of the more artistically styled Zelda games, and these are the kind of games that we like. And these are the kind of games we're going to notice the biggest improvement when using Dolphin. Don't believe me? Go and check out our Wind Waker video. It's incredible, it's mind-blowing. Check it out. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm sure you guys know the drill by now, but if you don't, this is the game running natively on the Wii at 40 to b over component cable. And um, just to address a few comments we've been receiving, both the SD and HD footage of these games and all games in our comparison videos are captured using the exact same capture card. There's no trickery going on, no post-processing, we are not editing the video in any way whatsoever. This is direct feed footage and if you sat there thinking, hey, I played this game on my Wii and it looked much better than this. Well, yeah, of course it did. This is a YouTube video, it's been compressed and you are sat closer to the screen, I imagine, than you normally would, so. Okay, we're running out of time. Let's get this baby on the emulator. Here it is guys, HD Zelda. Probably a first for many of you, right? Looks good. Finally, you can play a proper Zelda game on a nice big HD TV without wanting to rip your eyeballs out. Again, as in previous videos, we are running at 2560 by 2112 and we are capturing at 1080p. Skyward Sword is one of the most taxing games you can run on Dolphin and if you want to be running anti-aliasing, which we are not, then you're going to need an i5 minimum and you're going to need to overclock that baby to at least 4 GHz and probably beyond. Honestly though, it's such a clean looking game and at these resolutions, you probably don't even need it. Shigeru Miyamoto said he was inspired by uh, watercolours and paintings for the art style for this game. And there's a depth of field effect, which is uh, quite interesting, where um, the further away you get from a vista or a background, the colours will blend together, as if to emulate uh, watercolour. And it sounds good in theory, but it doesn't really come across that well when you're playing in standard definition. It just looks low res and blurry and in fact more than anything it looks unintentional. But in Dolphin it actually looks amazing. As for the game itself, if you haven't played it already, I highly recommend you do. It's one of the best games on the Wii, one of the best games this generation, or should I say last generation in fact I guess. And even if you have played it, play it again on Dolphin because this art style deserves it. Okay guys, I'm going to leave you in peace now to watch the rest of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. In the meantime, please enjoy this game's beautiful soundtrack.